What's going on guys? For this video, I will be showing you how to navigate from one activity to the other activity using a button. Create a new project and name it activity to activity nav. 5.0 will be all right. And then we'll go with the empty activity and then just hit finish. So once it's up and running, go over here to app and then down Java and then open up our package. And then we will create a new activity. And then we'll just use a, another empty activity. And that's fine. Main two activities, all right. Hit finish. Okay, then now go down to the uh, activity main.xml file. We'll change this text to activity one. Also go down to view attributes. We'll want to change the text size. So we'll go to uh, text size. Then you go 24 just so we can. And then we also need to add a button on this. So just go ahead and drag a button in here. And then just go ahead, we'll line it up in the center of the screen. So we will just go over here and grab both of these and we'll just copy and paste into the other activity because we don't want nothing fancy here. So we're going down to here, instead of the design part, we'll go into the uh, text edit and just copy and paste. But we need to change the ID to button two. That should do it. We'll uh, change this text up here to activity two also. And we should be good to go there. So we'll go back to main and we need to get the reference to our button. So we'll go button and we'll call it btn equals find view by the r dot id dot button. And then next we need to set an unclick listener to this. And then go button dot set unclick listener. I will be making a video here and I should have a link coming up right now that will show you the different ways you can set unclick listeners. But for now, we're just going to use this one new unclick listener. And just because this app is like simple, so we just want to be able to show you the intent of uh, traveling to a different activity. And that is done by a thing called intents. So you just go intent with a capital I, and then we'll name it intent, and then equals new intent. We need to pass in two things here. We need to pass in the this context that we're, context that we're in. So it's main activity dot this, and then we need to pass in the con or the context of where we're heading. So we're going to the uh, main two activity dot class. And then close that off. So basically an in intent, it does what it sounds like. Like it's got the intent to do a certain task, which this task is to travel to a different activity. And also Android Studio does a pretty good job of naming things. Their uh, methods names that what it sounds like it should do. Like so to go to another activity, you just hit start activity and then pass in the intent up there that we just created intent variable. So I will just copy everything here because we want to be able to travel back to this activity. So we'll go over here to main two activity and then paste everything and just change a couple things. Like we renamed this button, button two, and then we need to put activity two and then take out this two. So I believe we're finished here. So this does the same thing as the one from the other activity. It just sends you, it starts from this activity, that's this context here from this activity, and it'll send you back to the main. So we will run it. I'll be running from my device, and hopefully the constraints are halfway decent. Yeah, okay. So we'll tap this button, and it sends you to activity two. And then we'll tap that button from activity two, 
and we'll go back to activity one. So if you found this video helpful, please hit the like and then maybe subscribe to my page. Alrighty, thanks for watching.